Hey there, kids. Yup, I am doing How the Race Was Won for Cyclocross this fall here on Behind the Barriers TV. I hear this cross thing is pretty much the same as road racing, except that it's contested in total darkness. I'm kidding, of course. This is Rafa Starcrossed CX. The star part indicates that it takes place at night. It's a bit of a bummer since it's hard to pick through the start, and they do tend to be exciting in this discipline, but despite the commanding hole shot from Raleigh Clements' Ben Bairden, there wasn't a whole lot of urgency among the main contenders in the early going. Part of that probably had something to do with early season leg sorting, but I'd guess most of it was the pancakey star-crossed course served with the side of unseasonably dry conditions, leading to a slightly dusty meal of hard-packed grass crit. Great visuals here of the main contender's relaxation through lap one. Watch the head checks and smooth pedaling of the first riders as things get progressively more frenzied while the pack rolls on. Also, Bairden's teammate Jamie Driscoll back in 13th. He might want to tighten up those starts just a touch as the season goes on. Some cross purists look down on the grass crit, but they can be great to watch. You can spot riders checking out different lines. Here's reigning national champ John Page from Fuji Spy checking out the high line off the velodrome to limited success. And Rafa focuses Jeremy Powers running the stairs at the start of lap two, but sneaking out a nasty smooth double hop a lap later. You couldn't totally blame the riders for the oversized bunch through much of the evening. Cannondale Cyclocross World's Ryan Trebon, Bairden, and Page all made entirely respectable accelerations early, but the other favorites were quick to respond, and on the sizable, frequent, and fast sections of straightaway, the rubber band simply refused to break. Oh, right, and drama. Short, fast course, lot of guys together, it's speed over obstacles, something's gonna go wrong. I kinda want to think it's all racing, but this little peek over the shoulder from Page on lap 4, followed by a not exactly straight course over the barriers and a tumbling burden, let's just say the crowd made their feelings known the next time around. <laughs> lap 6 saw the broad chestingest, visor wearingest, gnarly line, Instagrammingest figure of giants Adam Craig take over at the front before H&R blocks Adam Schuler past Burden with a nifty side-by-side -side barrier hop to lead most of lap 7. Bairden took a flyer the next time around, marked by Page, but Trebon towed Powers up to the duo, and for the first time all night, the race had a tactically significant gap. So remember Powers hop from lap 3? What, you think he tried that for fun? The Rafa Focus Riders lap 9 attack put him several seconds clear of an elite quartet, who in turn had put themselves 15 seconds ahead of the rest of the field, all in a single lap. Of course, the presence of two of Bairden's teammates, Driscoll and Alan Krughoff, and the chase behind probably didn't hurt either. By lap 10, Powers and Trebon had established themselves at the lead of the race and were working together to maintain it, mostly, although the gangly Cannondale rider seemed a bit confused to get the bell, probably dizzy given the number of circles he had to ride in. The battle for the third podium spot was a different story, with Bairdon steadfastly not helping Page with pacemaking before launching an impressively effective attack his 11th and final time around the course. Cross finishes can be exciting, but this one was a little anticlimactic, with Powers battling to keep Trebon from trying any funny stuff in the bends before easily leading out and winning a two-up sprint. Bairden and Page trickled in for third and fourth, but check out Craig's giant teammate Carl Decker slipping past the Raleigh Clement blockade for fifth. Pretty cagey finish from the guy who'd kept his nose out of the wind all night. I'm Cosmo Catalano, and that's how the race was won.